If an actor intentionally causes harm to a victim, but the victim only sues the actor for negligence, will the victim be able to recover? A firecracker sparked that question for the court in Waters v. Blackshear. On June 6, 1987, Timothy Blackshear was lighting firecrackers and throwing them on the ground to watch them burn. Blackshear was a young boy, about eight or nine years old. After a few minutes of playing with the firecrackers on the ground, Blackshear placed an unlit firecracker into seven-year-old Maurice Waters' left sneaker and then lit the firecracker. Waters suffered burns in the incident. Waters and his mother sued Blackshear for negligence in Massachusetts State Court. The Waterses didn't assert a battery claim against Blackshear for insurance reasons. At trial, the Waterses presented evidence showing that Blackshear put a firecracker in one of Maurice's shoes and lit the firecracker. Blackshear didn't testify, and he didn't present any evidence suggesting that he didn't understand the harmful nature of his actions. The judge instructed the jury that the Waterses could recover from Blackshear only if Blackshear's conduct was negligent rather than intentional or purposeful. The jury returned a verdict for the Waterses, and the trial court entered judgment on the verdict. But Blackshear moved for judgment notwithstanding the verdict. He argued that the evidence showed that he'd acted intentionally, not negligently. The trial court granted Blackshear's motion and entered judgment in Blackshear's favor. The Waterses appealed to the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court.